Hey, welcome to the show. Today we have a division problem requested from one of my subscribers, Sam Love2, wrote in the comments, please do 890 divided by eight, and that's what we're gonna do today. So right now I'm gonna go ahead and move your name off to the side here and make this problem just a little bit smaller. And when we do problems like this, we're gonna try to figure out how many times this number right here, the eight, goes into 890. We're gonna work with this number here, the first number, eight. So how many times does eight go into eight? One time. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the one right there. So one times eight equals eight, just like that. And then our next step is going to be subtraction. So eight minus eight is zero. Now our next step is we're gonna bring the next number down and that would be the nine. We're just gonna bring it straight down right here. We put the nine right here and we start the whole process over. So now how many times do I put, can I put eight into nine? One time. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the one right here, right above that nine. So one times eight equals eight. And then I'm gonna go ahead and subtract and that will give me a one. And I'm gonna go ahead and make this problem a little bit smaller. As you do division problems, it, it tends to get pretty big on the paper sometimes. All right, let's, and that's the nice thing about working with a whiteboard. So you can have a lot of room. All right, our next step is we're gonna bring the next number straight down and that would be the zero. So I'm gonna draw a line all the way down here and put the zero right here. Again, how many times does eight go into 10? One time. So I put the one right up here and then one times eight equals eight right here. And now I'm gonna go ahead and subtract and I have a two. Now this could be your remainder. It could be 111 with a remainder of two, but we wanna turn this problem into a decimal. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a decimal right here. And when you put a decimal there, that means you can add as many zeros as you want on that side. It's not gonna change the value. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a, a zero right here. And our next step is to drop the next number down, which will be that zero. I'm gonna drop it all the way down right here, and here is the zero. So now we need to figure out, again, we're doing this whole thing over again. How many times does eight go into 20? Two times eight equals 16. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the two right on the other side of this decimal right here. So two times eight equals 16 right here. And now I'm gonna go ahead and subtract. And again, I need to make this problem a little bit smaller to work with. All right, yeah, that should be a good size right there. And now I'm going to go ahead and subtract. 20 minus 16 equals four. So I put four right here, and then I can drop the next number down. Remember, I can add as many zeros as I want. So I can put another zero right here. You know, make this line come out here. So now I drop the next number down, which would be a zero, and here is the zero right there. So now, how many times can I put eight into 40? Five times, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. So I go ahead and put five right here, and five times eight equals 40, just like that. I subtract, and we have a remainder of zero. So our answer is 111.25. Hey, thanks a lot. If you like that problem, make sure that you hit that likey button down below. I'm gonna to try to make, uh, try to get 100 likes on this video, hopefully maybe 1,000, but um, I need your help to get 100 likes. So find that likey button, hit that likey button. All right, here are some uh, of my subscribers. Um, I always love reading the comments and Sam love to request that can you do um, 890 by, by eight. We also have Melvin Gammer right here and says, hey, I'm, I'm from um, Kerala and I think it's Malaya, Malayali, maybe Malaysia, I'm sorry. It's M-A-L-A-Y-A-L-I. So I'm really bad sometimes trying to pronounce names, but um, I really appreciate your, your comments there, Melvin Gamer. Um, we also have from um, A-G-A-T-H-A -A, uh, said, I'm 25 years old and it's, it's difficult for math. That's okay, when we're away from math, sometimes we forget, but um, just, 
just keep trying and uh, you can come over here and I'm going to try to help you out as much as I can. But um, yeah, it's just like anything else. If you don't practice it, it just kind of, um, you forget. So uh, sometimes, you know, when I'm, I'm practicing uh, soccer and I forget how to do a couple kicks, I have to kind of go back and, and practice a little more. All right, we have uh, S-T-A-R-S-U-U -U says, um, can you make more videos on tips about math? I sure will. So, hey, thank you very much for that comment. And then I, I believe it's Lolita, L-O-L-L-I-T-A says, please do what is the answer? Can you please do 65 divided by six? We're gonna do that for you right now. I have it all set up. All right, this is definitely a lot easier problem than the one we just started with. But uh, let's go ahead and begin. So how many times does six go into six? One time. So I'm gonna go ahead and put one right here. One times six equals six. I'm gonna go ahead and subtract. We have zero and then you bring that next number down which will be a five. And now how many times can I put six into five? You can't, but there's a number in there. There's a digit and that would be zero. Zero times six. So I'm gonna go ahead and put zero right here. So zero times six would be zero. And I subtract and now I have a remainder of five right here. I'm gonna go ahead and put that remainder of five. Now you're, maybe you're wondering, it's like, is that true? You know, I just, uh, I'm not sure if that's right. So let's go ahead and check this. All right, we're gonna take 10 right here and I'm gonna take the six. I'm gonna multiply six times 10. So six times 10, which would be 60. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add my remainder, which is five. So plus five, and that would give me 65. And that answer matches up right here. So 65 divided by six, which would be 10 with a remainder of five. Hey, if you like doing problems like this, hit that likey button down below, hit that subscribe button, check out our other videos on here. We also have another channel. Um, if you like outdoors, you know, you like doing some outdoor activities and fishing, um, check out this channel right there. That's to one of my outdoor channels where we kind of have a lot of fun on that. And we also have some other um, YouTube channels. So you can check them down in the description. But uh, I hope you're going to get out and enjoy the day. Leave a comment. Tell me about what you're going to do today. Have a great day out there. We'll talk to you later. Adios. Goodbye.